I have 21 pairs of shoes. That is way too many shoes. It's so unrealistic to have that many shoes, but let's be real. Not all of these costed an insane amount of money because although I love shoes, because who doesn't? My shoe collection is very simple and that is on purpose because I feel like shoes definitely says a lot about you as a person. I like to think of myself as a very laid back person. So let's go over my shoes from best to worst, meaning my most worn shoes to shoes that I bought once and wore them three or four times. And completely forgot about them so starting off with the first one new balance 550s look these shoes go with literally everything so i have been wearing them with literally everything and that's why they are my most worn pair of shoes same thing with the next one which is going to be a pair of converse truck 70s now the thing is with my converse truck 70s sometimes i forget that i have them and sometimes i wear them a lot it just so happens that right now i have been wearing them more maybe because we're getting into the spring and i think it's a perfect spring shoe now the ones that i have are black white so yes they do go with literally everything i like the high top versions more than the low tops but i feel like my opinion always changes with them the next one is going to be doc martin shoes now this is my first pair of doc martins and i gotta say i was very surprised to see how much i really do like these shoes they're surprisingly very comfortable a lot of people told me that they were comfortable i really didn't believe it but when i got them for myself i found out that they really are i just recently got back from a new york trip i took these and as i was walking around brooklyn i was wearing these shoes never once did my feet hurt all right the next one is going to be my most recent pickup and that is going to be a pair of adidas Adidas Gazelle. Right now, the Adidas Samba is going to be one of the most popular shoes out there. Right now, it's the TikTok shoe, but because they're so popular and because everybody wants them, it's kind of hard to find. So I ended up going with the Adidas Gazelle, which in my opinion looks the absolute same. So if you're like me and you wanted the Sambas, you can't find them, just go with a pair of Adidas Gazelle, pretty much the same thing. All right, this next one is going to be a very underrated one, and that is going to be a pair of Reebok Workout Ripple Plus. I know the name's a bit weird, Maybe that's why you probably never heard of them. But this one is going to be my most underrated shoe. One of my more unique shoes. In my opinion, they do kind of look like Yeezys, but with Reebok's own twist to them. Now, I like the color. I like the silhouette. Like I said, it is very unique. So whenever I wear them out, I typically do get quite a bit of compliments with them just because most people have never seen these. But yeah, especially for the price, they're like 65, 75 bucks. Pretty good pickup. This next one is going to be a little controversial. That's because you either think this shoe is completely dead or maybe you just hate the creator and that is going to be Yeezy 350s. Now I got this one in the bone colorway, so it's pretty much white. And of course, white shoes go with literally everything. So as much as these are very, very comfortable, they do go with a lot of different things. And like I said, right now that the season is getting warmer, I'm going to be going out a lot more in the day. And if I know I'm going to be walking around a lot, I'm probably going to be taking my Yeezys. Hands down, one of my most comfortable shoes out there. So even if you hate the creator, even if you think this is a dead trend, if you don't have one right now, definitely recommend getting one. Now, as you could probably tell, I don't really care if these shoes are a dead trend or if they're played out. Whatever the case is, I don't care. If I like a shoe, I'm going to be wearing it. And I definitely advise you to do the same thing. All right, let's talk about a shoe that I still am on the fence, whether it's a great pickup or I just wasted my money because this one is my most expensive pair of shoes. And that is going to be my Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers. Now look, for the price, definitely not worth it. There is no shoe out there that would be worth that amount of money. That being said, I think at the time I just wanted something designer. I wanted a pair of designer shoes, but every time I looked at designer shoes, they just look extremely loud in your face. It's pretty much just begging for attention saying, hey, look at me, I have designer shoes. And the reason why I like these so much is because they don't really do that. Now these definitely do have mixed feelings. It's either people tell me that shoe is so ugly, why would you pick that up? Or they're like, hey, that's a cool shoe. But just to clarify, I did like the shoe for myself and because I wanted something designer and I liked the way the shoe looked, I ended up buying it. But surprisingly enough, I've been wearing this a lot more recently. So as of now, I'm saying it was a pretty decent pickup. Next one is gonna be another dead trend and that is gonna be the Nike Blazers. This one blew up on TikTok probably about two years ago, which is when I picked it up. Now, as of lately, they're pretty much mostly my gym shoes, but I still don't think that they're a bad pickup. For one, they've lasted me a very long time. They are very versatile. The silhouette makes it easy to pair with pretty much anything. And for it being around hundred bucks, I don't think it's a bad pickup. Staying on the topic of dead trends, let's talk about my pair of Nike Dunks. So at the time, I really just wanted to see what the hype was about. And let me tell you, I've always said that these are very overrated. So the colorway that I ended up going with was a pair of Michigan State. Now, yes, this is cool. I love the color. It's definitely one of my more bold colors when it comes to shoes. If you can't tell already, I don't like bold colors on my shoes. I like colors that will go pretty much anything, but when it comes to Nike Dunks, I might as well experiment. But yeah, for the price, the quality isn't really all that. I guess it's a cool shoe. It's not like I don't wear it anymore because it's a dead trend, 
but I just feel like I have better options. What I did with that is exactly what I did with this next shoe that I'm going to be talking about, and that is going to be my pair of Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. Now, at the time, I really just wanted a pair of Jordan 1s to see what the hype was about. If you can't tell, I like experimenting, and I definitely experimented with this one. So for the money, definitely not worth it. I would even say that this is a bigger waste of money than designer shoes. Now, before all the sneakerheads get on me for that one, I just still think it's so dumb to pay a lot more money to someone just because they got their hands on the shoe before I was able to. So if you can't already tell, that's my opinion on the reseller community. If I were to spend retail price on this shoe, I would love it significantly more, but I didn't. I paid resale and now I'm stuck with it. But since we're going into the spring, I definitely plan to get my money's worth and wear this a lot more. All right, let's start speed running this because I feel like we're gonna be here for a while. New Balance 327s. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty good shoe. Air Max 97s. This one, pretty cool. Retail price is actually a little bit more expensive than any other ones on the list. But again, not a bad shoe. I did wish I got a size nine, but I went half a size down. And so I don't really wear this as much. But let's talk about something that's not a sneaker. Let's talk about my Thursday captain boots. I've had these for about three, four years now. They're holding up amazingly and I want to pick up more. But for now, these president boots, these were a great decision to buy. I wasn't even going to throw this one on the list, but I wear this a lot. So I figured I might as well talk about it. That's going to be my Yeezy slides. If I'm going out in the spring and summer and I don't really want to put on shoes, I'm going to be wearing my Yeezy slides. Although white sneakers, I wear this for, with more dapper pieces and it was only like 50 bucks. So I can't really complain about this one. Adidas Ultra Boost. Again, dead trend, don't really care. I've been running a lot more, so I've been wearing this on my runs, but this is very comfortable. Even though it's a dead trend, still wearing it either way. New Balance 574s, don't really wear this one as much. I do think they're comfortable. I do think they look nice. I just don't find myself wearing it all that much. Converse CDGs. This is a very controversial one. Everybody loves to hate on the heart shoe. Look, I think it looks pretty cool. I like Converse. I like the little detail on this. I like the logo on it. I don't see the problem with it. Just because it's played out, that's not gonna stop me from wearing it. But as of lately, it mostly is just my gym shoe. Another pair of boots. I love my Chelsea boots from all those. I don't really wear this as much anymore, but if I'm going out to a nice dinner, I'm probably gonna be wearing this one. Chuckle boots are cool, they're different. When it comes to boots, most people typically wear lace-up ones or Chelsea boots, so I think Chuckle boots is a good option to switch it up with. And my final pair of shoes that I literally only wore about three times, my Jordan 1 Low red toes. Not that I regret buying this, but I just don't find myself wearing it all that much. Like I said, a lot of these shoes are dead trends, but I don't really care because if I like these shoes, I'm going to be wearing it either way. And I'm pretty happy to say that I have a high range of shoes because all those sneaker collection videos on YouTube where they're showing tens of thousands of dollars worth of shoes, I just think it's unrealistic. I want you to look at my sneaker collection and be like, you know what? I could pick this up for myself because my shoes are pretty affordable. I also mentioned earlier that 21 pairs of shoes is just way too much. So I'm going to be selling some definitely more towards the end of the list. The shoes that I said that I didn't wear as much. So I'm going to leave my eBay link in the description. So that way you can go check them out. I'm probably going to be releasing one pair a week. So make sure to check that out. So as long as you're related, as long as I gave you inspiration to pick up your next pair of shoes, I think this is a successful video. But you know which video wasn't as successful, but I definitely think it should be. If you want to learn about men's jewelry, check out this video. I thought this video is a gem. So definitely make sure to check that one out. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.